Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do an empties. I haven't done an empties video since April of this year and I've been uh, accumulating quite a lot of empty packaging now and I just want to get rid of it, especially since I'm going to be moving soon. So I'm going to do an empties now and I imagine I won't, if I empty out something, let's say next week or in two weeks time, I think I'm not even going to keep track of that to be honest because I'm not going to take empty bottles or makeup items to Portugal, which is where I'm moving to. So I'm um, going to do my empties now. We're cleaning up. Need to get rid of this stuff. Um, need to recycle and all that. So if that interests you, then just stay tuned. I've got some hair care, some skin care, and some makeup items. But I haven't split them up, so I'm just going to go in whatever is on top I'm going to talk about. And yeah, let me just get started. All right, so the first one, I think I finished this quite a long time ago. This is the Faith in Nature Coconut Conditioner and it's for normal to dry hair. I was in a Faith in Nature sort of realm. I mean, I was I was using them a lot. I've since come off of Faith in Nature. I do like it, but I don't think it's the best hair product for me, but I do recommend it. I mean, it is made in the UK, it's vegan. Um, you, they've got like no parabens, no, no silicone or anything like that. So it's really good. 99% of it is all natural. Um, I, you know, and it's cruelty free. So I love all of that, but I got a little bit bored of it. But anyway, yeah, I finished one of these. I think that's about what the second or third or fourth bottle that I finished in terms of conditioner for them. Um, but that one is all done. Another conditioner is the Beauty and Planet. This is the Shea Butter and Sandalwood Oil Happy and Hydrated Conditioner. And this one is really nice. I actually really like this way more than the Faith and Nature one. Um, I might pick this up again. I'm not sure. I got it on Amazon. You get 400 mil. It was pretty decent price. It's vegan, 97% um, natural. And this one doesn't have any silicon either or parabens or anything like that. And I really liked it. I think it conditioned my hair really nicely. Um, so I actually have missed this one. I do like it. Next up, I've, this was actually in my project pan last year. And then I just realized I couldn't really project pan uh, body care items or anything like that like shower items but this is the body shop fuji green tea exfoliating gel body scrub and it looks a bit dirty because actually i was using it to clean my sponges so there's like loads of makeup in there now because it was a pretty good size um so i put like makeup um uh like so solution like makeup remover solution for my brushes and my sponges and i've been using it like that but i finally finished it this last month and then I used it to clean up some things. Um, I might keep it simply because I do like the size of it in terms of the packaging and it's quite useful to use it that way. Um, but as the actual like official product, I just don't really like gel body scrubs, I've realized. I bought this um, when I was pregnant, so I bought it a couple years ago now. And then when I had it, I realized that you're not supposed to have green tea when you're pregnant. And obviously I'm not ingesting this or anything. So I'm sure it was fine, but I just went, I just stopped using it. And then I put it in my project pan last year and I realized I couldn't really use that much. I was here and then I finally finished it. It's just been one of these products that I've just used it to finish up because I just don't really like it. So I will never buy it again. Okay, and now I've got a Batiste. This is filthy, so I think something in here is dirty. But this is the original dry shampoo. I've been using these, testing them out. They're super, super affordable. I have another one that I'm almost done with, actually, so I'll probably finish that in the next uh, week or two. But yeah, this is fine. It's it's really cheap. Um, I'm trying to find a decent dry shampoo. I don't think this is the best one, but I really like the price. I've got some masks in here. I've got the Dragon's Blood Eye Masks from Rodeo. This is the Hydrate and Tone Depuffing Biocellulose Eye Mask. These are pretty nice. Um, nothing really special about them. I'm not a huge fan of eye masks, but it was pretty good. And then this one was good as well. This is from Bitter Mask. This is just a face mask and it's the tea tree moisturizing and clarifying one. Um, really nice. I like Vinna masks. If I am going to use a face sheet mask, then Vinna masks, I would say, is probably my favorite out of the ones that I've tried. But um, they're a little bit more pricey. Next, I've got another one of these. I actually have, I think, one more left to go. I bought a bunch of them because they were like a pound and then I, I I just don't really like them. This is the obviously the Radox Phil Pampered Luxurious Bath Cream with Shea Butter and Ginger. It's pretty nice. Um, nothing really to shout home about. It's okay. Um, I probably would purchase them again but maybe in a different flavour. I'm just sick of the flavour. 
Okay, next up is a skincare item. This is the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser. Um, this is the 150 ml. It's pretty good. You can get this for like two pounds. It's pretty affordable. Uh, this is probably the second or third one I've been through and I have another one that I have uh, because I really like this and it's really affordable. I know some people don't like the e.l.f. Face Cleanser, but I actually quite like it. And uh, yeah, that's just another empty. Next up, I've got my Lancome Micellar Water. This I got in a gift set um, some years back and I finally used it up this year. I used it when I did my Shop My Sash skincare and it's pretty good actually. Um, I probably would never purchase it, but I rece if I receive it in another gift set, then I would absolutely use it. It's just not something that I would go out and buy because it's Lancome is pretty pricey and you can get Micellar Water for a lot cheaper. I've got another dry shampoo here. This is Girly Girls Only Hair Care Dry Shampoo for Party Night Refreshes Hair Between Washes. There's a funny story about this. I <laughs> I uh, I asked my partner to get me some um, sh uh, shampoo for dry hair. Um, I didn't want dry shampoo, and he went and bought this. So um, I used it up, and it was fine. It, this compared to the other one the Baptiste one, I don't really see the difference. I actually think this one was pretty good. Um, I don't really remember, but it didn't last very long. So I don't know what happened, but I think everything evaporated for some reason. I'm not sure what happened. I've got a few more masks in here. This is from One One Skin. This is the Celestial Black Diamond Eye Mask, another eye mask. This is nice. It just had additional plastic packaging inside this, which I thought was really stupid, but the actual eye masks themselves were lovely. I really, really liked it. I've got another eye mask from Nature Republic. This is the Real Nature Mask, and this was an olive mask. Um, really, really nice. This is a Korean, yeah, this is a Korean um, face mask. Really lovely, I like that one. Okay, I got another mask here. For, for someone who doesn't really like sheet masks and things like that, I've got quite a lot. So this is a, another Korean one, I believe, or is this Taiwan? No, this is a Korean one. And this is the Power Ringer Mask Pack. The, I don't know, it's sort of a strange one. It really scared me when I looked at it. I was like, oh my gosh, it looks kind of futuristic. But it was really nice it's it was good and i don't have any complaints about it so yeah i like that one got another faith in nature in here this is the coconut shampoo so that obviously went with the conditioner all right we're getting into more makeup stuff so i've got my l'oreal baby roll mascara here i think it's just quite a bit this just shows how old some of these products have just been sitting here and i really just need to get rid of them but i just haven't done an empty so i've just been holding them but yeah i really want to get rid of some of this stuff but yeah i like this mascara i really like the wand someone mentioned that i should keep the wand actually i'm not sure i might not to be honest i, I it's a good idea but i probably it's not the type of thing that i would do and because i'm moving i just think it would be a little silly for me to do that. I can always repurchase this. I really liked it, but the formula went a bit odd, so I can always repurchase it. It's a pretty good price. It's the Maybelline one. No, no, it's L'Oreal. L'Oreal, yeah. I went through a little teeny perfume. This is the Ageless from Harvey Prince. I've got an ordinary niacinamide, 10% uh, zinc, 1% here. That is finished. There's like hair everywhere. I've got a deodorant here. This is the Mitchum for Women. I bought a bunch of these because they're only a pound and th this is good, but I have to say it does make my armpits itch a little bit. It helps with, you know, uh, odor and also, I don't know if it's, um, it doesn't really like help with like sweating or anything, but it does help with odor, but it did make my armpits a little bit itchy and I've almost done with my last one. I don't think I'll repurchase it just simply because that's a little bit strange. I've got another mascara here. This is the Lancome um, Monsieur Big. I actually just finished this this previous month and obviously this is a mini. I didn't really like this one to be honest so I would never purchase the big size. I've got an Estee Lauder Take It Away makeup remover. Not a fan of this one so I just went through it and I would never purchase it. I got it in a gift set so it was good to try out but definitely not, not a not one that I like. I finished an e.l.f. lip gloss. This is the Lip Plumping Gloss in Sparkly Rosé. I had it in my project pan for the longest and then I finally put it on my desk and I was able to get through it in, in a month and a half or something like that. So super happy. You can see there's like literally nothing left. I went full whack on this. I actually have another one that I need to start working through too. And this one is a Clarins Extra Firming Neck Cream. This is another little sample size 
that I got in a gift and wanted to try it. It was fine. Nothing really to, I don't know. It was okay, to be honest. I would never repurchase this or like purchase like a full size or anything, but it was nice to have. Okay, some of these items are not empties, but they are items that I'm decluttering because I cannot use them anymore. So this one is a Max Factor uh, lipstick or like lip gloss. And I don't think it has a shade. I've had it for a really long time and it smells really awful. So I have to get rid of it, but the color is really nice. I just, I can't use it because it's definitely off. This one I'm getting rid of. I got rid of this in my declutter video. This is from Collection. It's the Fast Stroke Eyeliner. I have, to be fair, used quite a decent amount of this. Um, and I really like the wand, but, but in terms of the formula, I really don't like it. And I did use a lot of it when I did some Halloween looks last year. And I honestly feel like maybe there's like that much left. There's no point me keeping it. It's just going to dry out. I'm not going to use it. I don't really use eyeliner. So I am just going to declutter this. This one I just finished the other day. This is Dr. Levy uh, Intense Stem Cell Booster Serum. This is in my current skincare um, like shop my stash. So I do need to keep this until I film the update for that. But this one is done, it's nice. I've never tried Dr. Levy before, but it's a really nice serum. So if I had a full size bottle or a bigger bottle, I probably would enjoy it more. But I only used it a few times because it's such a small amount. You only get, what, five mil in here? And that's just not enough for me to really love. But I did like it from what I was able to sort of gather. And this is a John Frieda conditioner. So I dyed my hair a few months ago. All my grey hairs have come back so yeah this was quite a while back but I finally finished the conditioner because whenever you do those at home box dyes the conditioner I usually it takes me a long time to use that because not really my preference and this was obviously John Frieda and I wasn't really using uh, this type of conditioner at the time and I finally finished it up it's fine um, I don't really have anything to say about it. I have another perfume here. This is Hello by Harvey Prince. Not sure why I had so many from Harvey Prince. I don't know where they all came from. And then this is another item that I'm decluttering. I'm not gonna give it to anybody. It is a clear brow gel, but it is all disgusting. Like who am I gonna give this to? This is for, from the Beauty Crop and it's the Brow Friends Forever. I got it in my Birch Box. Was it Pip Box? One of the, my subscription boxes a year ago and I really, really don't like it. Um, it's really greasy. It doesn't really dry down on the eyebrows, so it leaves your eyebrows super, super greasy, and I don't like that, so I'm getting rid of it. I've got another perfume here. This one is, again, from Harvey Prince. This is the Yogini. I think this one I might have liked. One of them I liked, and then the rest all sort of smelled all the same. All right, this next one is a bit hard for me to get rid of, but I do think it's time. So it's my e.l.f. Um, ooh, it's like such a glare on this. It's my e.l.f. Um, what is this? Cream Blush, and it's the shade Peach Perfection. And this is their old formula. So I've had this a good five years now I believe it's been five years and I think I need to get rid of it it's I mean it's a cream product and I've had it for five years um and I just wanted to use up quite a bit so I had it in my project pan and then I had my, in my uh, partners in cream I think and then I just took it out and I'm quite satisfied with the amount that I've used yes there's still tons of product left but because it's so old it just gives me a little bit of anxiety put it on my face I really don't want to break out and it smells fine but I just there's no point in me keeping it I have uh, newer cream blushes now that I would rather use up as opposed to still working on this which is really, really old so yeah I am officially saying goodbye to this but if you're been on my channel for quite a while you know this is one of the ones that I spoke about in my first ever video so yeah saying goodbye next up I've got the Baron well I've got the bare minerals skin longevity vita power sleeping gel cream this I have finished up it's really nice I didn't like it at first I thought it was super greasy um but then during the winter time I thoroughly enjoyed it because my skin got a little bit dry and I tried to finish it up and I finished it up what a month and a half ago or two months ago sometime around there and yeah I like it I don't think I'd repurchase it because it's not my preference but if I was ever gifted again which I was gifted this then I definitely would use it again because it, I did like the way that my skin felt after using it Okay, so next up is this mascara. This is the Big Lash Revolution. I'm not sure what happened to the packaging. It's gotten wet for some reason and it's uh, 
it's completely come off but yeah this one I finished it all dried up a few months ago so that one is saying goodbye next up I've got my L'Oreal perfect slim super liner here I've had this for several several years and it is very dried out so I'm going to say goodbye to this one and then I've got two items left I've got the elf Paulus mini primer this one I got the three sets of the little tiny duo um trios and this is the first one that I tried I'm working through the luminous one now I haven't tried the matte one I didn't like this at first but then I put it in my project pan and I really liked it so I actually would purchase this again I just needed to get used to it I wasn't used to the actual formula but now that I kind of figured it out it's actually quite good and then the last one is another primer this is from makeup obsession for the makeup revolution and this is all a blur and this again was in a project pan and i officially finished this one as well so that's it that's all of my empties for the last few months so as i said yes i'm going to be moving so i'm probably not going to be doing any other empty videos um or, or acquiring empties until i've officially moved and then i'll start like building it up again so I probably won't do another empties video until the end of the year or maybe even the beginning of the year who knows depends how much i get through but yeah thank you so much for watching like subscribe if you'd like to and i'll see you next time bye